Hi, Catherine Kyle here from greenthiggies.com. Today is day seven of the 28 day leaf system challenge. And today I want to talk about determination, which is quite appropriate for me because this morning I got on the scales and I was half, no, no, quarter of a pound heavier, which is not, this is probably why people shouldn't weigh themselves every day. And normally our bodies do go up and down uh, across the month, so it's not a big deal. But it, it, for me, it gets me to reflect on my previous day and think, was there anything that I did yesterday that wasn't exactly what I planned? And it got me to think, to ask that question this morning. And the answer was actually, unfortunately, yes. There was a couple of things that I did yesterday that I didn't plan to do. So, I mean, they're not going to make me put on loads of weight, but they could have caused my body to, to retain more water, which is why it might be heavier this morning. There's many reasons why our body fluctuates in weight. We don't want to get obsessed with it, but I just wanted to share this with you because I wanted to show you that I'm not perfect. I do do things that I didn't plan to do, just like we all do, and, um, Today I'm getting the right mindset back and the right determination and I'm going to make sure that I stick to my plan exactly today. So yesterday I went to the hairdresser, came back, um, went for, well, say lunch with my husband but he had lunch and I had just had my green thicky so I wasn't really hungry so I bought a coconut water thinking oh they're really low in calories and uh, they're quite healthy. I'll just have this coconut water and then when I finished drinking it I looked on the back of the packet and there was a hundred calories and a hundred calories it might not seem a lot but I am I'm very small in height so I don't really need that many calories I didn't really do much exercise yesterday because I was sitting in the hairdresser yesterday so if you if you take an extra hundred calories a day that's like a pound almost a pound at the end of a month so if you carry on taking an extra 100 calories a day throughout the year, then your weight is just going to gradually go up and up and up throughout your life. And that's not what we want. We want our weight to gradually or quickly, as quick as is healthy for us, go down to our ideal weight. So if you're trying to lose weight, it's obviously not good to just add in these random snacks and drinks. Drinks are the worst one because we don't really see them as food, as calories, and they are the ones that are most likely to put the weight on us. So be really careful with your drinks. I only recommend water, plain water, or um, the drinks within the green thickies, the liquids that are recommended as part of the recipes, and also herbal teas because they don't really contain calories. So they're the only healthy drinks that I recommend. And then to top it off as well, it wasn't just coconut water. I, at dinner time, I, well, my kids' dinner time, I was making their dinner, ma making them some gluten-free pasta, mi mixed it with some mayonnaise. They, they came back early, so I wanted to test it to see whether it was too hot for them to, to eat. And I got one taste of it in my mouth, and I thought, oh, that is delicious. And then, before I knew it, I was shoveling it in my mouth. And I just real I didn't realize what I was doing. And uh, goodness knows how much of this I ate, but probably far too much. And I probably, I should have just had a piece of fruit, but I didn't. And I'm starting again today. So today, what I want to talk about, it's quite appropriate, is our mindset. And there are so many different aspects of having the right mindset to be able to be successful in weight loss. But one of the main um, aspects of having the right mindset is determination and the determination of just knowing that you are going to succeed. Because so many people start diets half-heartedly and they say, oh, I'll give it a try. I'll try and do it for a week or maybe two weeks. And they, they maybe have a couple of slip ups that prevent them from losing any weight. Or maybe they lose a few pounds and the next week they, they go off the rails and they just don't want to stick to it anymore. And they say, oh, I just dieting doesn't work for me. These diets are not working for me. So um, you have to be committed for the long term. It didn't go on straight away. It won't come off straight away unless you've only got a couple of pounds to lose. So if you've got a lot of weight to lose, then it is, unfortunately, it's going to take 
quite a long time, but it doesn't have to take as long as you think. I mean, I managed to lose 56 pounds, about five stone in weight in a few months. I think it was, most of it came off within four months and it took the six months to lose the last few pounds because they're always the ones that are the stubborn pounds that were, people are always trying and that's, they take the longest. So most of it came off within four months. So four months can pass in a blink of an eye. You know, what were you doing four months ago? If you had started this plan four months ago, you might have reached your ideal weight depending on how much weight you've got to lose. So I do encourage you, even though it, sound, it feels like a long time, it sounds like a long time, but it's not really a long time. It's going to pass so quickly and it's just such a brief part of your life that you can say, wow, I achieved that, I did it. I am, I'm so determined to do it for the next few months. I'm going to be strict. I'm going to do it. I'm going to achieve it. When I, when I finish, I'm going to feel so great. I'm going to look in the mirror and be proud of what I see, be proud of myself for my achievement. And I can be healthy. I'm feeling great. And you'll be motivated to continue. And then you can be more flexible at that point. So de uh, determination is one of the biggest things that you need to get. You need to really commit. You need to tell somebody, post it in the Facebook group, and every day commit again, and commit on a weekly basis, and plan out your meals. Say, I commit for a week, and then I commit for another, another week. You don't have to commit for four months to start with. Just make that commitment and be determined and keep that determination going, and really focus on why. Why do you want to lose the weight? What is the reason? What's the driving force behind it? Do you want to feel really good about yourself? Do you want to feel more confident? Do you want to, it to be something that spurs you on to achieve other things in your life and that you, you'll feel good about yourself, that you can finally do something and not have this extra weight holding you back? So, determination. That's the message for today. And tomorrow, I um, want to talk about emotional eating because that's another massive part of mindset and I've got an interesting story of my own and a confession to make with you tomorrow. So I hope you will join us tomorrow and keep going, keep that determination. I believe in you. You just need to believe in yourself that you can do it. I promise you, if you stick with it, it will happen. Take care, see you tomorrow, bye.